Hello, boys and girls. It's nice to see you. I have a question for you. How old are you? Can you show me with your fingers? Are you one? Are you two years old? Maybe some of you who are watching are older brothers and sisters, and maybe you're three or four or five. That's so exciting. Every day you're growing and you're getting bigger and you're getting older and that's exciting. And all the time you are learning how to do new things. Maybe some of you have learned how to put on your shirt and get dressed. That's exciting. Some of you maybe can buckle your own seatbelts in the car. There are lots of other things that you've learned how to do. And I bet one of your favorite things to say might be, I can do it myself. Is that true? There are lots of things that you can do, but there are still lots of things that you can only do if you're grown up, right? Let's talk about some of those things. What are some things that you can only do if you are grown up? Do you have to be a grown up to drive a car? I can't move this. Where does the key go? I can't see. I can't reach the pedal. Yes. Yes, you need to be a grown up to drive a car. Do you have to be a grown up to mow the yard? Um, do any of you go out and mow the grass? You should be a grown up to mow the grass, yes. What about cooking dinner? How do I make this? And plus, where's, yeah, how do I make this and how do I read it and how there are shelves up high and I might need, yeah, stuff up there. So how do I make this? You do need to be a little older to cook dinner, but maybe some of you help your mommies and daddies in the kitchen. I bet you're good helpers. Do you need to be a grown up to wash the camper? How hard could this be? It would help to be a little bit bigger to wash the camper, wouldn't it? That's a big job. I have one more question. Do you need to be a grown up to give the cat a haircut? Um, you hold her, cat. No, you hold her, but I have the razors. So? Well, maybe that's just a bad idea the whole way around. Never give your cat a haircut. <laughs> there are so many things that grown-ups can do that children cannot. And that can make children sad or mad, right? But you've been learning about a time when a very important person said that children were very special. Do you remember Jesus was very busy, wasn't he? He was always talking to people and teaching people and healing people. He was very busy all the time. And so many people wanted to see Jesus. Some children wanted to see Jesus too. They wanted to talk to Jesus. 
But Jesus' friend said, no. Jesus is too busy to see you. Jesus is too busy to talk to you. Jesus is for big people, not little children. But what did Jesus say? Jesus said, no, let the little children come to me. I want to see them and I want to talk to them and I want to pray with them. Little children are important to Jesus. You cannot be too young for Jesus. Isn't that a wonderful thought? That for all the things that you're not big enough to do yet, you are not too little for Jesus. Jesus loves you. Have you been practicing your memory verse? Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. Jesus is the best friend we could ever have and he loves us all the time and it doesn't matter if you are little or you are big if you are young or you are old jesus is our best friend all the time let's practice that again proverbs 17 17 a friend loves at all times proverbs 17 17. next sunday you're going to learn about how good of a friend Jesus is to us. So until then, I want you to practice your memory verse. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you are such a good friend to us and that you love us all the time. Thank you that you're never too busy to hear our prayers and to listen to us. Thank you that you're never too busy to teach us. You are so good and such a good friend. Thank you that you love us when we are children and you still love us when we are old. Help us to be good friends to one another, just like you are such a good friend to us. I pray that you would be with these children throughout the week and their families. Help them to love each other and you well. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next time. Bye.